Hello and welcome to What's the Big Deal? A look at the Union Budget 2011-12. I'm Omkar Goswami. Every year, at about the same time, more or less the same people come to the studio to speak on the Union Budget. The cast of characters really don't change, though occasionally finance ministers do. So back to the same drama this year with Pranam Mukherjee getting ready for his third budget in his pres present avatar. And three experts giving their views, Amit Mitra, the Secretary General of the Federation of Indian Chamber of Commerce and Industry, FIKI, to tell us what business wants. Surjit Bhalla of Oxus to give us the views of an irreverent, opinionated, and often spot-on economist. And T.N. Nainan of Business Standard to speak to us from a more sage, wider political economy perspective. So let's move on. So Amit, what's the big deal about the budget? When we were very young, we would all watch the British Chancellor read the budget, and everyone thought it was very important. In the days when we had only radios, my father would come in in the night and sit down with and write and keep on screaming and groaning about the rise in income tax. Today, why do we all get together and make such a tamasha over an ordinary event? I don't think it's an ordinary event at all. First part of the budget is policies. Second part of the budget, you begin to see the numbers flowing. Third part of the budget, you hear a sigh or a laugh. It is an important event in the country. And the fourth part of the budget is five bad poems. Uh, well, uh, along with uh, Kavi Guru Rabindranath Thakur. Yeah. What is important about the budget is, what has happened to excise duty? Has it gone up? Has the corporates, are they paying more in terms of their taxes? Is agriculture an important area? Is inclusion something which is, uh, so shows up in the system? What about infrastructure? Hey, if you don't have infrastructure spending, so, everybody's going to so get Amit, hit. I'm going to stop you from being so serious. You're oh. being very serious with a smile. I'm yes. going to ask Nainan, what's the big deal? Why do we, as the, as the last great South Asian country, make such a shosha about the budget? I mean, we don't do it in the US. It's, they don't do it in the UK. Oh, I'm sorry, they do. They don't. Uh, they do make a big deal about a budget in any country. It's one-sixth of GDP in India. How is it not important? Just explain that. Well, the government of India's budget is about um, 11 or 12 lakh crores. GDP is about 77. Um, it's one-sixth of GDP. So uh, how, your, can it, how can it not be important? To make your point stronger, though I disagree, expenditures are about 30% of GDP. Very simply stated, so that the viewer no, can understand, our total tax revenue is about 20%. Let's get back And to our deficit is about 7 Let's get yeah. back to a simple yeah. question. Do we make too much of this budget? It's essentially a statement of income and expenditure of the year that has passed. It is a statement of intent of the present government in what it wants to do with expenditure going forward and what taxes it proposes to levy. Do we make too much out of it compared to, say, the United States or the UK <coughs> or, yep. no, or China or Japan or any other? The simple answer is yes. We make a hell of a lot of it. Uh, in many ways, perhaps it would be much ado about nothing. Uh, I think uh, while we were discussing this earlier, a sign of development, a sign of maturity as an economy is when the budget is not talked about. Uh, we know it's a balancing of uh, the receivables and the expenditures, uh, but I think this entire wait for the budget to outline what the economy would be, and in particular what the policies would be for the next year, is really outdated. I want to take that point to Amit. Yes. Very outdated. I want yes. to take this point to Amit. Yes. Why do we wait for this one glorious day, the last working day of February in a year, to understand everything about policy while you know everything else is all forgotten. No, I think uh, or not done. by the discerning people watch policy changes throughout the year. 